So I'm figuring whoever built this cab back in the 60s or whatever must have built it on a Friday because the old window frame is real crooked. Had to cut it out here, got a gap here. It's not going to be perfect, but hey, what about this thing is? Anyway, let's get to the video. <clears throat> Welcome back to Rink's Garage. We had a couple uh, oddball jobs to do after we got done with blowing snow with the old snowblower, but got them finished up and we got the snowblower back in the shop. Uh, got a couple issues to take care of. We got to align this shaft up. This pulley is tilted way down so that belt kept jumping off. Uh, Another thing, it slobbered quite a bit of snow out of the chute, so we're going to take and then close the chute part way up just to try to get some more better airflow to throw the snow out a little better. Probably just, I don't know, eight inches maybe up to here and close that so we don't get so much slobbering out of the front. Uh, still got to get spout turner on, but the main thing, we need a cab. And we got her in the shop. So, took some measurements. Right now we are 36 inches wide on the lawnmower. The cab is also 36 inches inside. It's going to be tight. It's a quarter, quarter inch, give or take there, but... I've been thinking about it, and I think the best way to make it work the easiest is going to be put the cab on backwards. Of course, on the tractor, this would have been the front the cut out there for the hood. But I'm thinking if we put it on backwards and we just get rid of this stuff, possibly this window off to see how high we got to end up. And if we can take this framework out of the back and this will slide out on the outside of that, we possibly can leave the doors how they are rather than if we put it on forwards. Of course, that them doors are going to be right here, which is no good. Climb in over the top of stuff. So first thing I'm going to do is take all the windows out. Nice thing about this is almost every piece of glass is just bolted in in here with the frame so I'm gonna take all them out get rid of a little weight and then I think we'll unbolt all the tin work in the back and see I probably have to cut a little bit and we'll get her turned around and see if we can squeeze it on there and if the doors will still slide we we'll only need one door so if we can get her tight on one side and leave enough room for this one door to roll I think that'll work so but first things first, I'll get them windows all popped out of there and then we'll turn around and see what we got. So I got all the glass pulled out other than the doors, which are kind of on a track in there. I don't know if I got to take that angle out of the bottom and get them out, but did some more measuring and I don't think my plan's going to work. When I was measuring before, I was measuring from the bottom to there four feet so it would fit well if I turn it around this part's gonna end up way out here and I'd rather not cover up the motor just for working on it I'd rather it stopped kind of before the gas tank come up so I think what I'm gonna do 
Let's take these doors out and pull the top off, which is just screwed on, it looks like. So we'll get rid of the whole top for now. And then I'm just going to cut this cab down here, make it a little shorter. And then hopefully I can reuse this front frame and I'll close off the bottom and just make the back one big door. So you can get on through the back, seat will be in there. It's a little more work, but I think it'll look a little better and function a little better. It won't be, the whole thing won't be a cab. So basically we'll try and keep this back part with the window, back window, all that intact so we can reuse it. But take the doors out, hack this part off, get rid of the track. And that'll also get us a little room inside because I can, if I need to, I can get rid of this piece. And then we'll just make a frame. Coming off, it'll be, it actually works out so that bottom of that cab's gotta sit flush with this. And that was another thing that, the cab is so long it would've ran into the tire, so I would've had to cut a little bit out that way. I don't wanna do that, so. That's the plan, we'll get that top pulled off and uh, start cutting just kind of wing it all right so we got her all stripped down got the roof off doors out and everything so basically next step is we'll take cut off wheel and slicer right in front of this door post all the way across the bottom basically separate this front part off and then cut this tin work out of inside of here and then I think we'll try and get it set on the mower, see how it looks. I think it's going to work, Peyton? I think so. So basically we'll have to make a little frame for it to sit on here, up the back, and then we'll just uh, get that part mocked up. And then we can use this back frame, probably up, it is curved here a little bit so basically I'll probably cut it off here and then make a new frame on the bottom and then we'll just put hinges here and here and then just have the whole back open up as a door and then we can just step in I'll probably put like a swivel seat in there so you can hop in turn around so that is next on the agenda we'll get her cut apart and set up on the mower and see what it looks like got her cut in half So, back so you can see it. So it should look a little better. Not quite so big a cab. Next thing, we'll throw it on the, probably on the engine hoist. If it'll go high enough, lift it up. Slide it over the top here. See what she's gonna look like. But I think we're done for tonight. Payton's got school tomorrow. But, it shouldn't be too bad, I don't think, so we'll hit her again tomorrow after work and see if we can get her fastened onto the mower. What are you doing with them pieces of metal over there? Mm. Scrapping. So, we'll be back tomorrow with more. Hey guys, we're back here next night. Uh, got the cab, kind of rigged up on the hoist to lift her up. Uh, we're going to try and get her on. Open this tube. We'll slide on the outside of here. Then we'll clamp her on. And we'll have to make a bracket for the back, of course. But I'm going to try and get her up there and just see how it's going to sit. If we can do it without tipping it over. I don't know. What do you think, Patty? What are you working on over there? Mm. What's that? A radio. Well, the radio out of the cab? Taking it apart or what? Just taking off this. Alright. Well, we'll set the camera up and see if we can tip the cab over. Oh! I didn't even cut it. It just ripped out of the bolt. <laughs> I'm just going to stick the wire on it.
see how it works inside. Okay? I'm just gonna take off the top and like see how. Oh dang! There's nails on the top. tricky but we got her on there it does fit I measured up to the top and this is about as high as we want to go we'll still be able to get in the door uh, our piece ended up just below the side skirt so that kind of fixed our problem with getting over this so basically we're gonna have to rig up some something across the frame to fasten that to there and there and then in the back we want to be in front of the back tires because that can pivot side to side so it could come up higher so basically we want to be ahead enough that when we put the door on which will be an inch thick this will still miss it so somewhere there Ends up pretty good. We can still get at both uh, gas tanks to fill them up. And we'll just make a cover piece in here to seal it off. Put the two side windows, two front windows back in. And of course we'll have to cut the top back down once we get the door frame in the back. But that should give us enough headroom inside too. So Next on the agenda will be getting something figured across the frame there so we can mount that cab because it's just kind of teetering on it right now so what'd you find inside that radio mm. speaker so i looked and i couldn't come up with any metal to bolt her on underneath because everything i got is either too light or too heavy uh i got a piece of angle iron just clamped on it for now to hold it sitting level how we want it i think it's going to work pretty good We'll have to figure out a seat. The only thing I'm worried about is not having enough room here. To be kind of jammed up in there. We really don't have anywhere to put our feet. So I'm kind of thinking we're going to have a footwell here. So when we do that back door, I was thinking maybe we will kick this frame out here with some of what's left. And then our door can have that angle on it because we'll basically be building the door. So, but otherwise, the view ain't going to be too bad. I'm going to be sitting about this high, so you should be able to see out good vision out the sides and stuff. So, But we'll have to see if we can come up with some tubing come out from the frame. And then I think I'll just use these existing four bolt holes to bolt her on. Then if something happens, we got to take it off. We can just pop it off. So we'll be back once we find some metal. 
So I rounded up some angle iron. Basically, it's a two by two and a half angle iron that we had laying around. Cut the edges out, drilled some holes. So basically, we'll bolt these on the bottom of the cab. In the existing holes, they'll run crossways with the angle up. And then I can jack the cab up. And it's gonna give us our height we want. And then we'll just weld them across the bottom of this channel in all four spots. Well, got her welded on. She's pretty solid. So now we gotta move on. Of course, we need a floor plate. Thinking what we're gonna do is we'll just get a piece of sheet metal and go off the bottom of this cab and just cover the whole bottom. That'll give me a lower foot well for my feet. And then where the seat's gonna sit, it's gonna sit back. So I think what I'm gonna do is just, we'll put a close off panel down here up about this high before we step out just to give this some room if, if we go over a bump and then we got to come out about six inches i think for how the seat's going to sit so i would have been thinking when i cut this off i should have cut it off here that would have gave us about our six inches with this so what i'm going to do basically is end up cutting this chunk out of here welding it back on that part of the cab and then we'll just do a framework down come out and go down with another square tube and then back in both sides piece across here close off panel and then we'll cut this frame out so basically I'll just cut the tube above the window frame down here where it bends and then add on to it straight frame up the door and then we'll just put hinges on the whole back a couple hinges on this side so when you get in it'll just be hop in shut the door seat will be there should have room to mount the battery back here tuck some wiring out of the way of course put the windows in and then we'll have to do some sealing up of the rest of it along here get a piece across here to seal that off as you can see, I got a giant mess going on, so I'm going to work on getting that cleaned up and then we'll come up a piece with a piece for the floor pan in there and probably get them that framework cut apart how we need it there. And then, of course, I'll have to get some more tubing or I don't know, I got some one inch angle iron. I just don't know if that'll be strong enough, but get cleaned up, round up all that stuff, and then we'll get to building this frame. All right, we got the shop cleaned up a little bit. I did pick up some steel. We got some one inch tube, uh, one by one and a half, just some stuff that we had. What I could find, uh, cut down the back of the cab, got that tacked on, so we're about six and a half more inches. Uh, these pieces will be the frame out of it, so I got a piece that'll go across the bottom, come down and go back in, right about here get our bump out so we'll get that uh, framed up tacked on and then I got the window frame cut out of course so basically we're gonna make that frame get it tacked up and we'll lay the door frame on there and 
we'll have to lengthen the door of course because that window is only going to come down to here or so so we'll have to lengthen the bottom of that for the door then just got some weld on hinges so once we get the frame on there we can tack the hinges on to make the door so set up the camera and we'll get that frame all tacked together and try and get the door on her Got the door frame all tacked up, hinges tacked on. She's not real straight. Kind of got my gap pretty close here, but this side of it is pretty ugly. Oh, when old Jimmy was building her in the factory, he didn't have her quite squared up in the jig, but it's all right. Nothing's real straight on it anyway, but I haven't tried out the hinges yet. Hopefully it doesn't fall off there. So that'll be our door to get in. Of course, we'll take, fill this in with some sheet metal. Probably have to come up with one more bar across here so we can fill this in. And of course our floor plate. I'll have to cut some of that up, come up with a door latch, but, and a roof. Take a measurement on that and just slice her off, throw her back up on top. So, we get some sheet metal cut, tacked in. Of course, we gotta fill in this piece too, so. One, two, three, four, five, six, about six pieces of sheet metal, get them tacked in, and then we can throw our windows in and see what we need to do for a seat and whatever else. So. We'll go get some metal cut and get her all tacked in and we'll see what happens after that. So, got the frame all welded up, solid. Got a bunch of sheet metal cut for all the patch panels, cover everything up. So, got the floor plate, that's 3 16 so that'll be heavier. That's just going to get welded across them angles down there. So we got a nice heavy duty floor. And that'll be to the angle so you can still take the cab off if you need to. And the rest of the panels are just some, I don't know, it's 14 gauge, similar to what's on here. So we'll tack all them in. Get, uh, get her closed off. And then we'll probably throw the windows in it. So I'll get them all welded in. Then we'll work on getting some glass in her. As you guys can see, we have a cab. 90% finished. Got all the glass in, cleaned her up. I uh, got the door finished up, glass in the back. All our panels are welded in. Of course, it's not airtight. Uh, probably, if we get her finally finished up, probably just go around with some caulk and seam seal everything. But, ooh, also, I did make a real sweet handle. It's 
real fancy. It's a half inch bolt with a nut welded on the door. Piece of rod inside, but hey. It was cheap. So, windows are in. Got a floor in it. Now we just gotta figure out a seat. Seat will sit here. It's actually gonna sit pretty good. The view ain't too bad. It would have been nice to have the full window in the front, but it's gonna work out pretty good. Uh, I got the roof on, screwed down. Probably do some uh, soundproofing because I did start it up to move back here and she is loud in there, real rattly. But So next on the agenda, we're gonna probably make a little battery box down here, get the battery back. It is, uh, the cab is about the right weight. So I did lift it up and it doesn't tip up in the back the way it sits now. So get a little more weight to the back will help too. I, it's pretty light. So, but yeah, we'll put the battery back here. Uh, of course, we got to close that off. Also, get a hood on here, cover this up, keep the snow out of her. But other than that, still got to put the spout turner on. And, of course, the electrical. So, I just got the panel screwed in here. We'll redo our wiring. We'll put this panel in here. And probably just put the switches right in it get these ones up in a nice spot for your hands to run so and then of course we'll have to fill in some holes down under the floor pan and stuff probably just find some carpet rubber maybe fill all that in we don't need to be super tight but I don't know what we're gonna do for a heater yet or if we need one have to blow some snow and see so but that's going to do it for this video. Uh, coming up next, we'll, of course, we'll get everything finished up, hopefully, in the next one. So It's going to be just in time, probably, that there won't be any snow. But hopefully there is some. It's the middle of February now, so we should get one more good snowstorm, maybe. So we can try out some blowing with the cab, with the spout turner and everything hooked up. But that's going to do it for this one, so we'll see you next time.